So we get to San Francisco. I'm still in the same outfit from Bangkok like 24 hours prior. And we went straight to the bar and we're, we're having a Guinness. It's March. He's, it, you know, you had the leprechaun hat on. Like, and he says, I want to open a coffee business with you. And I'm like, Co coffee? <laughs> This week we meet Sean Kingsley and Holly Migliaccio, two New Jersey natives who decided to ditch their 9 to 5 jobs on the other side of the country to come home and build a booming business around one thing, hand poured American style drip coffee and a little bird. Welcome to Rook Coffee Roasters. So 2010, you open up, but then you say, hey, you know what, maybe we should open another one. And then maybe another one. I mean, we, we sell five times as much as we did the first year in that one location. Is that right? Five times. Okay, so you said, say, no, we're gonna open another one, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna open another one. We were opening, you know, one every six months for multiple years. Yeah. And uh, we got to this point where we're like, hold on a second, we need to take a break here for a second. So a year and a half ago, you say, all right, we got 10 of these locations, we're doing well. We built, you've built a brand, which is really yeah. cool. Like yeah. the people rec a recognizable brand. A year and a half ago, you take a break and you say, hey, let's put the brakes on here. And you say, what? We've been investing in stores the entire time. Let's invest in the infrastructure mm -hmm. of, of Rook Coffee. So we invested in a new roaster that can handle 30 to 40 stores. Mm -hmm. We invested in a brewery that can handle 30 to 40 stores. Okay. We invested in people. Mm -hmm. We brought in a vice president of operations. We brought in a director of marketing. We brought in a business analyst. We bought a building. We bought a building. <laughs> we bought a building. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. with, with the intent to strengthen what we have. Okay. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to enter the wholesale market for the first time. Okay. We're distributing our product in bag form and bottle form to grocery stores across the tri-state area. We can't open 20 or 30 stores in the next year, but we can enter 20 or 30 supermarkets and areas near those people yeah. in the next year. With 10 locations established around New Jersey and two more about to go online, Sean and Holly have big plans for the future of their little bird. 2025, where's, where do you think Rook is? I think from, from a wholesale perspective, I'd like to be national. I'd like to be in every state in, in the United States and I'd like for people to be all over the country and see the Rook bird and know that brand. Yep. Uh, without knowing that there's a Rook coffee underneath the bird, they just see the bird and it's synonymous with coffee. And this is it, man. I mean, yeah. this is it. This little bird, bird. <laughs> that you sketched out. He was like, are you going to put the website on the sticker? And I was like, no. And he's like, how are they going to know? And I was like, they're going to ask questions. And and I remember you were like, that's going to take a while. I was like, well, we're going to have to be patient because that if they ask a question, what is that? What is that on your shirt? What is that on your car? Then somebody's going to be an ambassador like that yes. for you. So you're creating a, a free advertising. There's so many different companies that their brand is really the name of their company. Sure. Where, you know, we're unique in that we have this brand and it's the Rook Bird. And yeah. once you see it, you know it's coffee. Absolutely. What piece of advice would you give to somebody who has an idea in their head and if it says, hey man, like I want to go do it, like what would, be, what would be your advice to that young entrepreneur or a person who wants to start their own thing? I mean, you, you have to be ready to make that commitment and you have to be willing to put all the chips in. I mean, there's no, you know, kind of ha half-assing it. You have to be 100% passionate about what you're doing and you have to do it every single day for every single minute for your entire life. You're not, you know, going out at night like typical. You're going out at night and you're talking to people. If you go out to dinner, you're talking about your business. Like, you don't, you know, you drop everything and it's like all in. You said blinders, like yeah. all in. Everything I do, I breathe, I, you know, everything is is the business. Yeah. Um, and, to, you know, and, and that's, the, that's the start. That's the start. The amazing growth and local support of Rook Coffee is no accident. While Holly and Sean originally planned to build the business in Brooklyn, they are so proud of the fact that they instead chose to come back to Monmouth County, New Jersey to let their little bird fly. 
we thought Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. You know, we were in the cities, like going home. And then we ended up spending time at home. We're like, home's kind of cool. Monmouth County's like yeah. ready for this, Love you this. know? Absolutely. Yeah, so man. we're so psyched that we did it here, you know? That's Jersey. So good. Jersey. I know, it's so great. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. These guys, this is this is awesome. I had such a good time with you guys, man. This is great. I'm so proud of you guys. It's so cool. I wish I drank coffee more, but or, or ever. Uh,